Now this story at five. Good to see those smiles, isn't it? A very happy homecoming tonight in Windsor Locks. Dozens of National Guard soldiers are back after being overseas for a very long time at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. They were greeted by family, friends, children, and even dogs. They're part of the family. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Rapp is live tonight in Windsor Locks with more for us. Susan? Denise, if you haven't been to an event like this, a homecoming event, well, you really should. It's a special event. Keep in mind, these families have been waiting a long time to see their loved ones. Here, the room fills up quickly, and then it gets very noisy, and people are very happy. They've been away from home for months, and now they're finally back. Members of the Connecticut Army National Guard were greeted by cheers. A lot has happened since they were away. Kensington was born. And something tells me you're going to smother this little girl with kisses. Absolutely. We're planning a Christmas uh, when on Sunday. We're going to have our own Christmas. She left the tree up, even though I think all the, uh, all the needles are going to fall off. There are hugs and kisses, entire families, happy to see their loved ones safe and home. Even Governor Malloy couldn't resist. They sign up for this, and, and they prepare for it, uh, that training. Unbelievable, uh, and it's always good to get them home and get them home safely. This is Staff Sergeant Jason Hallback's second time being deployed. His wife, Victoria, hopes to keep him home for a while. It's all a lot to take in at once. So. There's a lot, lot going on right now. <laughs> What's the first thing you want to do? Well, like I was saying, I, I want to go out to eat. I want some food, good food. These are members of the military police. Again, they spent nine months at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Now what they're looking for is some family time. We're live in Windsor Locks, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.